This video is the compilation of the verses from the Bible for us to meditate on. Do meditate on these promises of God. Personalize each verse speaking out aloud. Make sure that you believe it with all your heart and mind. When you are healed, you have entered the supernatural area called Kingdom of Heaven and your faith and healing becomes a reality. If your circumstance is not improving, is becoming worse, then speak on these more often. Visualize you doing what the verse says. Believe it happening and receive your healing of body, soul and mind. And the Lord said, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in His sight, Give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. The Lord will keep you free from every disease. He will not inflict on you the horrible diseases you knew in Egypt, but he will inflict them on all who hate you. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there and great multitudes followed him and he healed them all. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Thank you Lord for your Holy Spirit that in him we have the hope that we will be healed. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. My son, pay attention to what I see. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. The life of 1 Peter 2.24 is a reality in my flesh. I declare that every cell of my body will be restored. In Jesus' name. Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Combining these two verses, I want to declare that Jesus took upon himself my sins in his body on the cross. Therefore, I am dead to sin and alive unto God and by his stripes I am healed and made whole. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Jesus took upon himself my sickness and my pain. Therefore, I give no place to sickness or pain in my life. Worship the Lord your God and His blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. There shall be nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. I declare, Lord, that you have blessed my food that I eat and my water that I drink. 
and you have taken sickness away from me. Therefore, I will fulfill the number of days in my health. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. I declare, Father, that because of your word I am an overcomer. I overcome the world, the flesh and the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. And you, who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death, to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. Lord, I declare that Jesus is the Lord of my life. Sickness and disease have no power over me. I am forgiven and free from sin and guilt. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in his suffering in order that we may also share in his glory. The Spirit gives life, the flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the Spirit and life. Lord, I declare that Jesus took upon himself my infirmities and my sicknesses. Therefore, I refuse to allow sickness to dominate in my body. The life of God is flowing within my body and it brings healing to every cell of my body. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord, because you are called an outcast, Zion, for whom no one cares. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. This day I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyes were not weak, nor his strength gone. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weakling say, I am strong. Behold, I will bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. For he shall give his angels charge over you 
to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Lord, I declare that no evil will befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling place. For you have given your angels charge over me. They keep near me wherever I go, in all my ways, in my way of life, healing and health. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. When he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. Lord, I declare that this verse is flowing in my bloodstream. I am redeemed from the curse. It flows to every cell of my body, restoring life and health. I say this with the faith depicted in Mark 11, 23, which says, For surely I say unto you, Whoever says to this mountain, Be removed, and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. And also in Luke 17, 6, which says, So the Lord said, If you have faith as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, Be pulled up by the roots and be planted in the sea and it would obey you. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. But Jesus turned around, and when he saw her, he said, Be of good cheer, daughter, your faith has made you well. And the woman was made well from that hour. Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing and perfect will. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence towards God. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of Him, because we keep His commandments and do those things that are pleasing in His sight. Heavenly Father, through your word you have imparted your life to me. 
that your life restores my body with every breath i breathe and every word i speak i declare that which god has not planted is dissolved and rooted out of my body in jesus name your powerful word is engrafted into every fiber of my being and i am alive with the word of god believest thou not that i am in the father and the father in me the words that i speak unto you i speak not of myself but the father that dwelleth in me he doeth the works i declare as i present my body to my god as my body is the temple of the living god god is inside me and his life is in my spirit soul and body and now i am full of god every day Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree that the blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles through jesus christ that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith Verily I say unto you whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them of my father which is in heaven For if by one man's offense death reigned by one much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ For God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind beloved i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth death and life are in the power of the tongue fear thou not for i am with thee be not dismayed for i am thy god i will strengthen thee yea i will help thee yea i will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness Heal me O Lord and I shall be healed save me and I shall be saved for thou art my praise If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land a joyful heart is good medicine but a crushed spirit dries up the bones he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions because thou hast made the lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation 
there shall be no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling he shall call upon me and i will answer him i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and honor him but they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint for this day is holy unto our lord neither be ye sorry for the joy of the lord is your strength what know ye not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you which ye have of god and ye are not your own yes lord i declare that my body is the temple of the holy spirit i command my body to release the right chemicals for the perfect chemical balance in my body my endocrine system secretes the proper amount of enzymes for my health and my life i will not die but live and declare the works of god those were 52 verses on healing from the bible experience god's love as you meditate on them that god sent jesus to die for your sins and mine and confess aloud that he is your savior ask him to live in you and experience his presence as you read the bible daily may you receive your healing in jesus name amen if you were blessed by this video share it with anyone who needs healing of body soul or spirit may god bless you